Oh no, <laughs> Ash did not appreciate that gift. Oh, how sad, Ash. That wasn't very nice. Hey everybody, this is Julie Kagawa and welcome back to Raising the Iron Fate Characters in The Sims. And we are back at Wildwood Orphanage with me and all the little orphans. There goes Ash. There goes Megan. What's everybody doing? Butch is drawing. Megan is eating. Rowan is talking to the coat rack. That's perfectly normal. What is this? Love day. Love day? Oh dear. Leah is browsing kid-friendly websites. Well, that's good. We wouldn't want you to browse non-kid-friendly websites. And Puck is watching TV. Okay, guys, it is six o'clock. We need to get ready for school. Everybody who doesn't have food should go get food. Oh, what do I want for love day? Spend a little extra time with the one you love or the one you are falling with. Well, that's going to be a problem with six children. Give flowers. Go on a date. Again, that's going to be a problem with six children. I don't want to call it now. I'm going to have an awful love day. <laughs> Leah, go get food. School starts in an hour. Go get food. Megan, why are you sad? Damn clothing. Blech, this laundry didn't dry thoroughly. Hmm. Which is also sad from wearing damp clothing. Where is this damp clothing coming from? I thought I dried it. Is everybody sad from wearing damp clothing? So we did do a little bit of upgrading the orphanage. We now have these monkey bars and these play sets for the kids. But more importantly, we've got some animals. We have a llama. We've got some chickens that are not happy. And over here, we have a little garden with a very creepy scarecrow. And this is to teach the kids some responsibility. Now some of them will be responsible for cleaning up after the animals and taking care of the animals. And some of them will be responsible for gardening and taking care of the garden. And that will be a good way to, to give them some responsibility in life. Apparently, I also am wearing damp clothing. I wonder if that's something to do with the dryer. <laughs> Who's calling me? Oh no. In lab, Glitch's science experiment exploded and made a big mess along with frightening another student. We think he did it on purpose. Glitch. Academic punishment seems right. No real harm done. Uh, they think he did it on purpose, but you know, we don't know he did it on purpose. But no real harm done. We want them to be experimental, right? Okay. For Love Day, Glitch decided to handcraft a card for their crush, complete with pipe cleaner hearts, glitter flowers, and dinosaurs. Why is this child so dramatic? <laughs> Glitch just needed to decide if he should let it slip that it was him who made the card or secretly drop it in their cubby. Last time he did this, he, it didn't go well for him. All right, Glitch, be bold. You gotta be bold. Boldly deliver the card. In the heat of the moment, Glitch walked past the cubby and delivered the card directly into the hands of the most popular kid in school. After having it declared the most awesome card ever, Glitch was invited to hang out with the popular kids at recess and lunch whenever he wanted. Doesn't that make Glitch a popular kid too? Oh, finally something worked out for him. I'm so glad, Glitch. Good job. He is my dramatic child. Out of all of the kids, he is my dramatic child. All right. In celebration of Love Day, Leon and she's class made tissue paper flowers. The teacher asked all the students to give their flowers away to someone special. Now Leon and she just needed to think of the right person. Gift flowers to brighten day, keep flowers for self. Leon and she is a little bit selfish. She would she would keep the flowers for herself. Oh gosh. Leon and she decided to keep the flowers for herself. While at recess, another kid spotted them and offered to trade for some real flowers. Considering it an upgrade, Leona G accepted. She'd started the day with nothing and now she had a bouquet of real flowers. What an enterprising young Sim. Well, uh, that, that seems very appropriate. More Love Day things. For Love Day, Puck decided to handcraft a card for the crush complete with... Oh no, alright. Boldly deliver a card, Puck. Let's see if it goes as well for you as it did for Glitch. Yep, yep, it did. It sure did. All right, now Puck and Glitch are popular children. Good job, boys. Um, he would, Rowan would also keep flowers for himself. Uh-oh. Didn't go well for Rowan. Rowan mulled over who to give the tissue paper flowers to, but his answer was easy. Himself. Yeah, that seems like Rowan. Rowan strutted off flowers in hand. 
That was until the wind plucked them free and stole them. The bright flowers drifted in the wind's current until they were little specks on the horizon, never to be seen again. Oh, Rowan. <laughs> this all seems very appropriate. Oh, no. In honor of Love Day, my goodness, Ash's school always allows students to buy flowers to be delivered to each other during class. With some money to spend, Ash decided to take advantage of the fundraiser and celebrate the holiday. Did you know? Buy flowers for everyone in class, buy flowers for self. All right, well, unlike his brother, Ash is not selfish, so he's going to buy flowers for everyone in class. Ash decided to surprise the entire class with flowers. While sitting in math, each flower was hand-delivered, taking enough time to get them out of a test. Good job, Ash. Now, are we all done? Is this everybody? I was going to say, we're missing Megan. Megan is, is getting the exchanging uh, love cards, too. But she would, I think she would secretly drop the card in the cubby. It's probably not going to go well. Nope, it didn't. Megan secretly dropped her card in the cubby. When her classmate came in from the recess, she waited until her crush put their coat away. Unfortunately, the Love Day card had slipped between the cracks and was never found. Oh, Megan, I'm sorry. I think that's everybody. Everybody's Love Day adventure has come to an end. Good. You guys are like 12. You shouldn't be having all of these Love Day crushes anyway. I'm gonna guess some of these kids are coming home very sad. Oh, hey, Grim. How is it going? I'm glad to hear it. Right, let's make something special. It's Love Day. Hey, here's some strawberry cake. Let's make strawberry cake. Strawberry cake is very pink and Love Day-ish. Hopefully that'll cheer people up. There we go. Just in time for the kids to get home. You know what, Megan? You had a hard day at school. Purchase gifts. There we go. Let's have her buy a tulip. And Megan loves this tradition, so let's get, have Megan give a flower to Ash and Puck. I mean, this is just friendship, right? This is just friendship. What happened? What happened there? Oh, no. <laughs> Ash did not appreciate that gift. Oh, how sad, Ash. That wasn't very nice. Maybe Puck will appreciate it more. <laughs> there we go. Okay, Puck appreciated that. Ash. Alright, look you. I'm gonna have you purchase a gift for Megan. Because that was mean, and she's had a hard day. So we're gonna give her a gift as well. There. Go give her a gift. There. There you go. There we go. Let's have all the kids just buy gifts for everybody. Rowan ignores this tradition from being evil. Well, that's very appropriate, I suppose. Oh, Yay, confetti. Llama has been unhappy. Okay, so this is the new rule. Ash and Megan, you guys are in charge of the animals. Ugh. Ash, go clean out the coop. Megan, clean the llama. We have Ash and Megan taking care of the animals. That's good. Yes, get to know the llama. His name is Nick Bottom. If anybody gets that reference, let me know in the comments. Who is Nick Bottom and what is his significance? Oh no, that chicken was mean. All right, well, come on inside, Megan. Ash, what you got here? What is this project? All right, it is 9 o'clock, everybody. Everybody go to sleep. And they put these night lights in. So there should be no more monsters under the bed. Because that was a bit much, getting woken up four times a night after five out of the six children saw monsters under their bed. All right, who is not sleeping? Glitch, Glitch, what are you doing? Go to sleep. I'm actually not sure if I like you working with chemical table. Didn't you try to burn down the school? Nightmare? Megan had a nightmare about being stuck in a ladderless pool, unable to get out. Kind of absurd, really. Why couldn't Megan just lift themselves out of the pool? Love day was awful. Yeah, I kind I, I called it. But all the kids had a successful love day, so I suppose that's all that matters. Oh, I'm very sad. I had an awful holiday, and my clothes are damp. <laughs> Okay, it is the weekend, so let's get to, let's, we're gonna start off by doing something fun. So we are going to 
start off by making pancakes for everybody. Even though I'm very sad because uh, Love Day was awful. That's okay. I mean, next year. There's always next year. And really, how are you going to go on a date with six children in the house? Tell me that. 